Hello everybody and welcome back to Benjamin Magnus Plays Hearts of Iron 3. Now, we are still continuing our expansion of the New England bridgehead here. Now it is, uh, I would call it much more than a bridgehead. Generally a bridgehead refers to like a small strip of land that you're barely controlling. Um, oh, I'm thinking foothold, aren't I? Foothold, bridgehead, whatever you want to call it. But I've actually gotten like a, several states down that. Yeah, some of the smaller ones I got here. Well, anyway, we're gonna continue expanding our our hold of the New England area this episode. All right, here we are, folks. Now uh, I'm expanding mostly in this in this area right up here in kind of Maine towards the Canadian border, just because it's pretty lightly defended. We're down here. Oh yeah, see, look at this. Them attacking. Let's see who are they attack. Looks like these guys, right here. Hmm. They engaged. Uh, yes, they are. So let's break off this attack here. And let's have these guys support over here. Well, actually, let's let's see how well they do it defending them. Okay, they're pretty good at defending themselves. And these guys are supporting. These guys are attacking. It's actually kind of a rough battle. Let's cancel this battle. And let's just try to make sure we can hold on to what we got here already. Uh, we have our primary battle fleet here already, but we also have our secondary battle fleet. Uh, they just transferred over. They rebased to the to New York Harbor over from from Germany. So we got to wait for their organization to get up. But they are definitely here. Most of our planes are wow. We have German, French, Swedish, Iraqi, in I don't know what that last one is. I have the foggies who they are. Whatever that last flag is, we got them all sitting in New York Harbor here or the New York Airport. Flying rockets. Like, if I told... Is it, is, it, is it better to do them one at a time, or just let them sit here like this? Or like in a big group? I don't actually know. Definitely need to give our Air Force t uh, a little time to recoup, but... Could probably use a little support over here, so let's do a ground attack. Uh, interceptors, let's make sure that they're intercepting as much as possible. Yep, there we go. Oh my god, that's so many fighters. It's a huge stacking penalty. I shouldn't send them up like this. It's a huge stacking penalty for doing that. Yeah, look what happened to these guys. They got shot to hell. But it actually did a significant da significant damage to this area right here. To the attack thing. To the attack there, that is. Alright, ground attack right there. Let's see if we can lure those planes out again. Did I just send my... This is, these guys are not right. Hang on a sec. They're not set up right. Hang on. Pause. Let's uh, do a supporting attack right here. Tactical bombers. Close air support. Yeah, let's uh, cancel that because it looks like I accidentally added some tactical bombers to my strategic bombers, which is not what I wanted to do. So we'll let those guys go back. Let's make sure we crush this attack here. Yeah, we can't let we can't let them. Like, there we go. Oh, oh I, di I didn't actually have an attack going, so that's why the, that's what was going on there. All right, I actually don't need it take this province right now, although I could if I wanted to. Let's just make sure that, let's make sure they're weakened and then we'll, we'll probably cancel that attack. So let's grab everybody here. We're looking at, ah, uh, this, I think I messed something else. Okay, select. Yeah, there's a, uh, uh, I forgot to t knock my strategic bombers into a different group. So I definitely want to put them together. All right, merge. There we go. Strategic bombers are now where they're supposed to be. Oh, there we go. What are they trying here? They're attacking some, some air transports. Oh, just shoot the hell out of them. I really shouldn't send send groups that big up. Really should not do that. What do I have over here? Oh, no, those are other people's planes. Alright, so let's grab this unit. Let's create a new unit. 
Let's split it in half. We'll still use big units, but we'll just split them in half like this. So there's not that huge stacking penalty. And you need an upgrade. There we go. And what we'll do is we'll just do this. We'll do air intercept. Boom. With this guy for now. It's like they went out to intercept some cags there. Close air support. Rockets, tactical bombers, strategic bombers, tactical bombers. Okay, so let's grab, let's organize this back up. Uh, merge. And we'll, let's create a unit of the most intact tactical bombers. Actually, most of them are pretty good. Let's just split it in. Eh, it's not exactly in half like that, but uh, there we go. That's pretty good. And... See Falschermjägers down there. <laughs> they're just called paratroopers when they're American. <laughs> oh god. Uh, strategic bombers, tactical bombers. These are the good ones. Tactical bombers, ground attack. Send them in. They should do. Uh, that that should be a pounding. Won the Battle of Saratoga, Saratoga Springs. All right. Now I, I need to pay attention to what's going on over here. Uh, let's send you over here. Sure, there's no other little rebellions I need to take care of in my land. Okay, good. Alright, now you guys, I actually don't really feel like I want to take that land. Should I? It is a... It's good land. Poor Falsher Makers. I can't believe I lost one. That makes me sad. 15,000 men captured in battle. More V2s. Really cranking those out now. Take a look at this. Okay, so we're building... Oh, those battle cruisers are almost done. Nice. What else are we working on? Planes, convoys. Ooh, the mice. The mouses. The mice -is 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 -is. The mice is the, the many meese. Much many meese. The many meese are almost done. Now, uh, so... I'm feeling like a lot of the guys hanging out over here can be put to use. Uh, where are my tran- oh, the transport's already right here. Yeah, let's grab everybody over here. Transport's already there. And let's land them here. Forgot I had those guys there. Where is the highest level command structure? Second Army Group. This is the Eighth Army. And they're part of the Second Army Group. Which, oh, it's right here. Okay, there we go. I was say, I feel like I'm missing something here. So these guys, we can, yes, we can push up here. And we're going to heavily support this with bombers. Round attack. We have plenty of planes that can fly out to intercept. You guys are going to hang out there and repair a little bit. You guys are air, air intercepting. I don't think they have anything really terribly good right... Oh, apparently they do. See, that's what I hate about air intercept. You tell them that air intercept, they don't fucking do it. Real Canadian Air Force. Okay. Oof. They are not doing well. My fighters are like they're getting shot up, and I'm barely taking anything. All right, these guys will support the attack from this direction. We'll also support the attack from. Let's grab half these guys and support the attack from this direction as well. Open up another another front. All right, now that you're getting attacked. I see what you're doing. Yeah, when these guys are back up to 100, 100%, then we will, um, we'll send them out to patrol probably out over here. What are you guys doing? Actually, let's, uh, send you back to, real quick to repair a little bit. Not much, just a little bit. Yeah, I'm not worried about that. That I should worry about, though. So let's cancel that attack. And they should be able to hold out after that. 
And a couple of these guys need a little bit of some some mild mild repairs. Man, is this attack ever just not going well? Should we keep pushing down towards Philadelphia? Take another port? That would be that would be nice. More more ports, more supplies. I mean, I do have ships coming over with more men right now. How are my bombers doing? Bombing of Berlin. I guess that's the name of the place. Berlin, USA. Let's see. And here is where I'm originally from, right there. I can't wait to overrun that place. Rochester. And right now I'm from... About there. Okay, let's continue this. Fighters taking out... Okay, if we take over these air bases... Well, there's, there's a lot of air bases in the region, so it's not like we're going to overrun them all. Let's bump you up. Okay. Agriculture advances. That's good. We can take that off the list now. Tech, industry... Agricultural advances. There we go. Anything else going to finish soon? Doesn't really look like it. A lot of things are coming, but not anytime soon, really. Alright, we'll just continue this. Lost a battle. Which battle? Is it this one? Oh, oh, I see what it was. HQ unit. Nineteenth core. So you can come over here and actually join your your tanks. This core and all its men can be neat or can be used over here. I wonder where the other ones are. They must be coming. Let's actually have you guys hang out in Hartford for now. Third core. This guy, the seventeenth core. You're needed elsewhere. There we go. And if you guys... Actually, if you guys want to do me a favor and just hang out here for a mo, that would be good. Battle cruisers... Ne new battle cruisers are the next thing that are going to be completed. That's good. Alright, so let's let's uh, keep pressing. It seems like there's a, a significant amount of Canadians down here. So let's, uh, yes, let's grab three divisions and attack this way. The other two divisions are going to attack this way. In addition, we're going to do two here and two here, just like that. And let's actually go back to Europe and figure out who is going to move next. Like, these guys guarding the coastline, I don't feel like they're terribly necessary anymore. So why don't we... strategically redeploy them to Brest. And get them into combat. That's ten more divisions there. Thinking about grabbing these... You know what? Let's do it. These guys, well, we're not doing anything in Russia right now. Let's leave that one, but take this one. All these Panthers over here. Redeploy from... These guys are going to get on trains from the border with... The current border with Russia, which is past the Caucasus Mountains, all the way to Brest, then load transport ships and get transported across the Atlantic to America. Fuck yeah. America, fuck yeah. Definitely bombing the shit out of Berlin here. It's actually... Let's let them go for a little bit, but we're going to need to give them time to... to get their organization back after this. Won the Battle of Franklin. All right, 88.
I actually feel like I could I need another I need a full like new army corps up here is what I feel. So maybe some of the new guys coming in this time. Although I know I got some garrisons coming in, but that's not a big deal. Alright, cancel this. Americans are putting up a hell of a fight. Can I just bomb Philadelphia? Alright, now I should have more tactical bombers. Right over here. Ground attack. Air intercept. I'm going to have to keep doing this because when you tell them to air intercept, they seem to do it once or twice or three times maybe, but then never again. They won't keep it up. Now these guys are done for a while. All right, you're going to need to retreat. You're not you're not going to be able to do very much good there. And so are you guys. You're not going to be able to do what what what's needed there. So let's uh, bring you guys back over here. Too too extended. What if we did an intercept on a smaller range so they don't go all the way out there? There we go. How's Philadelphia? Oop! Philadelphia got the ship bombed out of it. I feel like just tell just 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 going like this and seeing what they do. Just give them carte blanche. I feel like 1v1, or v 1v1, 1v2 is enough to really wreck a place. A runway crater? With a v2? Is that gonna do much? Oh, it really wrecked the airbase, I feel. Yep, that really wrecked the airbase there. Yeah, it's gone. And they've got a ton of planes stationed there. Yeah, that really knocked our that that really did some some damage. All right, new units are here, so let's take the transports. We're gonna send them back. Hopefully, by the time they get there, some of the these troops that were moving will be off the trains. Um, no, we don't want the Eighth Army. <laughs> you can finally. Go meet up with your guys over here. The 6th Army can detach and get reattached to the 2nd Army group. Okay, we, we, we grabbed a bunch of these, uh... Command... Command units this time around. <laughs> the Marines, which are still down here. I forgot about them. God damn it. Can we... Is that a thing? <laughs> Okay, let's strategically redeploy them down there. We'll have to send our ships to go get them. Uh, who do you belong to? Like, who do you... 15th Corps. So the 15th Corps... has got its five divisions. Let's, um... Let's send them up this way. Got oh, so many guys in this pocket here, it's hard to keep everything organized. Definitely is difficult keeping everything organized. Uh, this fleet can actually... Let's actually send them out convoy raiding. Let's see what we can do. Uh, again, the American fleet, nowhere to be seen. I don't know if the Japanese got them or what, but they're just nowhere to be seen. They're not anywhere. Probably shouldn't be sending tanks into this kind of terrain, but doing with what we're working with what we got. Yeah, it looks like that V1 was expended this time. But I keep saying V1, V2. Why don't we take another one and do this? Man, their range is not what I thought it was. Runway cratering up here. Yeah, let's try that. B b bombing of Montreal. There we go. <laughs> let's take Montreal out. Oh, we knew that was happening. That's why we're uh, we we kind of overextended our, ourselves there. That's okay. 
Just trying to keep get get things nice and neat and organized as all these troops are coming in. Now, how are my strategic bombers doing? Ooh, they got the hell shot shot out of them. Boom bombing Louisville. Wow, they really have a range on them, don't they? Well, it looks like they sunk a convoy right here, so why don't we do this? Patrol, you patrol over here. See if we can find whoever did that. And you guys, you're up here, so let's, um... Yeah, let's grab you here, convoy rating right there. All along the American coastline. Alright, nice. So, this is the Marine Corps right there. This is the 6th Army Corps. Everybody's just kind of stacked up here now. Looks like everybody is in the correct command structure here. We, we actually, the 2nd Army Group actually doesn't have a leader. We need to give them a leader. Uh, sort by rank. Fortress Buster, Logistical Wizard, Supply Consumption minus uh, uh, down. Yes, let's go with Von Epp. Let's do that. And all these armies, they should have, the army should be fine, yeah. Second Panzer Army. Yeah, uh, I think I might need Philadelphia. Oh, they can take care of that, that's fine. I think I might need to take Philadelphia. Another port is going to be important, I think, because now with this many troops here, oof, there's a, it's a lot of people. It's definitely a lot of people. All right, you move here. Let's um, let's do this. You, my friends, I'm gonna come down here. I'm gonna spread you out a little bit like that. Cover a little bit more of the front. That way that'll give us extra troops to push Philadelphia. It's December. I don't expect to be making tons of progress in the middle of winter. How's the Navy? I don't see anybody out here. Are we sinking any We are sinking ships, though. Which is good. It looks like one of their supply lines is coming right through here. So we're just going to keep trying to sink those ships. Be good for me. I attached you to tanks? Really? Trying to get my head wrapped around what what is going on where. Well, you guys are moving into that spot. Let's um let's tie these guys down by attacking them. We just needed uh to distract them basically. All right, you guys are just about where you need to be, and your command structure is where? Here. You need to make it up to Portland, my friend. There we go. Uh, I've got to say, I'm glad that America is putting up this big of a fucking fight. F hardest one in the game since... Um... Since Russia. Right, where was that other plane? Three... No. Oh, tactical bombers that got left in Germany, apparently. All the way over here, friends. There's a base there. Do we ever get any radar built? We got one radar built here. Battle of Bennington. Which one was that? That's over here. That was just the distraction, though. Yep, we're j we just need to keep them distracted so I can get those troops moved in there, which is exactly what they did. They did their job. Now that I've got more infantry moving into the region, that's going to help out tremendously. I'll be able to take out uh, uh, basically anything important up here. That's a fleet right there. I'd love to, to, to actually intercept them. I don't see it happening, though. I, I, I was really raring to uh, fight the American fleet, but it just never materialized. Alright, good. Now what we're going to do is... 
Let's see if we can n cut off a couple divisions here. If we could, we could cut off like an army corps right here and wipe it out, probably. I bet that's feasible. Just my air force, just just getting over here, is is rough for them. But it looks like these guys are starting to do better. Getting up there, nice. Oh, and we are just about out of time, making extremely slow progress in in North America, which is good. I was I was I was hoping for a a, a tougher fight. So everybody, if you've enjoyed this episode, just drop me a like, leave me those comments right down below, and if you're interested in more Benjamin Magnus plays Hearts of Iron 3, just subscribe to my channel, and I will see you next time.